Hi, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now, I don't normally cover CB radios on this channel. Not that I don't like CB radios, but I just don't use the CB bands anymore. However, this little radio, the Radio Oddity CB500, can be modified extremely easily to work on that 10 meter handband in both AM and FM. Now, this radio also appears to be the same as the Anytone 500M that has been around in the market for quite some time now. Now, out of the box, this radio will cover from 26.565 up to 27.99125, well, at least here in the UK. And that provides the EU channels and the UK FM 40 block. But we're not interested in those, well, at least me. But what we want to do is perform a simple modification to convert this radio into a dedicated 10 meter radio. There is one particular modification which allows full coverage, 10 meters and the CB bands. But I personally just want 10 meters and the 10 meter mod actually provides a better result. Now more on that later. As well as changing its frequency range, the power output can be adjusted in three steps via the menu, low, medium and high with a high power topping out at near 15 watts, as opposed to the legal CB limit of 4 watts. And that's why there's that massive heat sink on the rear of the radio. Now, there was some quite nice forward planning there. The CB500 is quite a compact size, which makes it quite attractive, well, at least to me, along with a nice looking backlit LCD, which you can actually change the background color of within the menus. Now, for those of you that live in the United States or those areas, you'd be pleased to know that there's seven WX or weather channels available when put into WX mode. Now, these do receive around 162 megahertz, so not entirely sure how that's going to work when you have your 10 meter antenna plugged in. As well as the channel number being shown, the frequency is also there available on the screen, shown in that lower left corner. Now, this is something that us hams much prefer over having a channel number. There are some nice features available in this radio, like automatic squelch, CTCSS and DCS, plus noise reduction on both transmit and receive. But don't expect top tier radio DSP quality. But the noise reduction does work to some extent and can make the received audio sound better than a radio without it. OK, so let's take a look at the actual modification that I've been talking about. So first off, we'll just take off that bottom case. That's the case with the speaker side. Then just locate this little jumper here next to the white wire. Now, as standard, that white wire will not be cut. But let's just first talk about the jumper. Normally, the jumper will be across pins one and two. But to perform the modification, you'll need to change the position so it's across pin two and three. Now with just the jumper across two and three, the radio will be opened up to cover all bands and frequencies, plus provide the ability to set the radio's output power up to 15 watts. However, when entering the 10 meter portion, the last digit will be fixed to a five and it'll be in 10 kilohertz steps. Well, that's what I experienced when I performed the modification. So I cut the white wire as well, and then the last frequency digit changed to a zero, but now allowed five kilohertz steps, and the only available frequency range was the entire 10 meter band. So no CB bands were accessible, which is perfect for my personal use. Now with the case back on, let's test the power output. We're on 29 megahertz, so more or less in the middle of the 10 meter band, and we're on FM. Low power provides an output power of around 3.4 watts. Middle power settings appear to provide around 7.5 watts. And then high power provides an RF output just a smidge under 17 watts. Now, that's not bad at all. Unfortunately, the whole of the 10 meter band is not accessible from one block of 40 channels. You still have to go into the menu and select the band block. Now, once in a band block, you can go up and down in five kilohertz steps with the frequency shown on the lower left of the LCD. The bands go from A to I, with A being the start of 28 megahertz, and then band I going up past 29.700 megahertz. Now, if you're interested in hearing how the transmitted audio sounds, then here's a snippet of what it sounds like on FM and then what it sounds like on AM. 
Zero DQW, Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey, testing the Radio Oddity CB500 on FM, which is now modified for 10 meters, modified for 10 meters. This is M0 DQW, over. This is M0 DQW, Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey, testing audio on the Radio Oddity CB500, modified for 10 meters on AM, on amplitude modulation. This is Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Now, unfortunately, at the time of making this video, we've just had a massive CME, which means the HF bands are completely dead. However, when I recorded some video footage a few weeks ago for Radio Oddity, I did manage to capture some reception while on the CB band. So you can take a listen to those and how well that noise reduction works. <laughs> Now, for those of you that are wondering whether or not you can use repeaters with this radio, then the answer is yes. Now, that's assuming the repeater has the same offset as the radio is capable. Now, within the menu, the offset setting, once enabled, allows you to either have a minus or positive offset, meaning when you transmit, you'll transmit on a different frequency to that that you're receiving on. With the offset set to minus, the radio will transmit 100 kHz lower, and while set to positive, it appears to transmit 95 kHz higher than the set receive frequency. What's also nice is that when you change an offset setting on a particular channel, that offset is remembered when you go back to that channel. And of course, you can enable CTCSS and DCS for that channel as well for those 10 meter repeaters which need that subtone access. Well, there we go, guys. That's the Radio Oddity CB500 or any tone 500M, whichever way you want to look at it. And if you do want a cheap or fairly cheap dedicated 10 meter radio that has AM and FM and puts out around 15 watts, then this might be the radio to go for. However, of course, if you want to work sideband, then you will need to spend a little bit more money and get a different model. Anyway, guys, until the next video, stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. One nine, Roger. One nine, Roger. One nine, four, Roger. Roger, Roger. One nine.